Uh, it's a great honor and privilege for me as Minister for Culture to, uh, to launch or to start off, although we've had a couple of day, brilliant days of workshops. It's the press conference to launch the second Gibraltar International Jazz Festival. This is adding to the cultural opportunities available in Gibraltar in a way that we might not have been able to imagine. A jazz festival, a yearly international music festival. Gibraltar is really buzzing. It's buzzing with the sound of music. It's been excellent. Uh, it's uh, gone over all our expectations. Jules Holland has been brilliant. The people in Gibraltar uh, filled up and sold out the concert and uh, at the grand finale everybody standing up and dancing, it was great. Jules Holland himself, I must thank him because not only has he done a great show but he has said that this is one of the best places and best shows that he's, he's performed in. As everybody knows my motto is always bigger and better and uh, yes it is a high bar that we have to jump over but I'm sure that look with hard work like we did last year, last year it was the same, people would say how are you going to make it better this year has been better and it's the same with most of the uh, events we do. It's getting better, more professional and people are liking it more. So yes, it is a high bar to jump, but we will do so. Recently I heard Wayne Shorter give a good answer to what jazz means because really jazz really doesn't, doesn't have a meaning per se related to music but he said that jazz, jazz means I dare you. That's what Wayne Shorter said, means I dare you. And to many, to many musicians jazz is that, jazz is, is, is taking a risk in music and saying, taking on a challenge, a challenge of being able to improvise, a challenge of being able to react in the moment, a challenge of being able to, to to make music with great musicians and, and being able to, to keep music fresh and exciting. It's, it's, it's many of those things that, uh, that really have appealed to me uh, in jazz. Mainly the, the improvisational quality that jazz has. I've always wanted, like, liked the idea of making music in the moment. What's happened in the last couple of years with the government decided to start doing a jazz festival. I think it's really cru crucial that there are many people who have been putting a lot of work into the, into the jazz scene like George Bosso, uh, Nick has been helping him out, Charlie Jovain with all the people who have been playing weekly at the Elliott Hotel and, and getting people excited about jazz and developing a jazz scene. I've watched, I've watched George Bossel for many years and his passion for jazz and I've watched his passion grow into this incredible festival that we have now and it's only the second year and he's already calling names like Jules Holland. It's amazing. Um, so yeah, to be part of that is wonderful for me and it's so lovely to be invited back as a guest again. It makes me feel proud. Yeah. Music was part of my life since I was, yeah, since as, as far as I can remember. I'm, I'm very happy that the government is really involved here and they see the potential here and, they, and they're um, aware that it's, it's not just about, you know, it is about tourism, sure, but it's about the art of the music and how important that is. 
and how it should be always connected to education. That's my view. You know, I, I've been an educator and a performer my whole career. And without opening up the awareness of young people to what the art is, uh, it, it, to me it doesn't make any sense to do it because it's not something we want to die. We want it to continue to live and thrive. And it's only if younger people embrace it will that happen. Well, I'm very excited to be here because I've heard great things about the Jazz Festival. Um, and I think it's such a wonderful thing to do. Uh, but so Dan Moretti is playing here, and people are seeing him whilst I'm here. But I'm particularly excited for two reasons. One, I've never been to Gibraltar, so I've always wanted to come here to have a look around. So it's great to be here to have a day and have a look at everything. And um, also, we're, it's our first show with Melanie C. Um, ever. Um, so Melanie C, ex Spice Girl, and uh, um, now rhythm and blues is singing with us. I hope the jazz festival keeps going. In my, in my experience, when festivals, you know, Glastonbury started with sort of four people around the campfire, and now it's the biggest festival on earth. If they stay on for the first few years, they grow and grow, and I, I hope that it, I wish it all the best, and hope it goes on and on for many years, and bring in great jazz players from around the world here. And I, I'd hope to come back very much. Oh.